<laughs> what a wonderful, marvelous day to turn eight! Said Lenny LeBeau, waking up feeling great. The sun was out shining, the sky wasn't gray. What an excellent, fabulous, glorious day! But right about then, something made him feel sad, and the day started going horribly bad. For after that moment, I guess you could say little Lenny LeBeau lost his birthday. Where is my breakfast? Lenny called out surprised. It has to be here. Not believing his eyes. Every birthday I get my breakfast in bed. There's been a mistake. The baffled boy said. He looked past his nightstand to his own handy scrawl of the calendar taped a tilt on the wall. But today is March 1st. Cried Lenny, still shaken. Where are my waffles and orange juice and bacon? He jumped out of bed and ran down the stairs. What in the world is happening here? Then rounding the corner, he asked with surprise. Is there anything you're forgetting here, guys? Good morning, Lenny, said his mom very sweetly. How to do, son, replied Dad rather neatly. Oh, I'm sorry. I couldn't decide. I forgot if you liked your eggs scrambled or fried. <sighs> scrambled. But did you forget? Today is my birthday. Hey, Lenny, look! Interrupted his sister. I got a surprise! Libby said with a whisper, excited, he asked. What did you get me? Nothing, she answered. But I got a kitty! She came in my cornflakes. Isn't she pretty? Meow! Oh, yeah. Great. He thought to himself as he slouched in his chair. They did all forget it. We'll see if I care. I'll bet they'll feel bad they didn't remember when I remind them sometime in September. Huh? Nice. Finished so soon? You must have been starving. Run up and get ready for school now, my darling. Hmm. I'm a princess! Hmm. It's just getting worse, thought Lenny LeBeau as he sat, forced to watch his kid sister's show. I should have got my breakfast in bed been able to watch my show instead. And school wasn't much better for Lenny. Who can tell me whose birthday just passed? Can you, Annie? Um, Thomas Edison? Correct. What? Lenny, please wait to be called on to speak. Laura, are there others you know of this week? Uh, George Washington? Correct. Percy? Abraham Lincoln! You guys are my friends! What are you thinking? Lenny LeBeau, you're clearly not paying attention. I'll see you at recess, after lunch, in detention. Nice. Oh, that looks good. Oh, you know, that's Later in line and feeling like dirt, he spotted what looked like his favorite dessert. The only good thing that's happened today. <laughs> Ouch! Well, never mind that. Sighed Lenny under his new hat. I'll be back in a few minutes. What's a boy supposed to say when no one remembers his special day? What's a kid supposed to do when nobody sings happy birthday to you? There should be parties and presents and cake, but there ain't. What a terrible, horrible day to turn eight. Getting close to the end of a terrible day, while heading back home, he heard his friend say, You seem kind of down. Are you doing all right? Well, maybe you'll feel a little better tonight. Better tonight? He wondered what Laura meant 
Could it have been some kind of hint? Maybe forgetting had all been a guise. I wonder if everyone's planned a surprise. That has to be it. He said without doubt. Well, they'll be surprised that I figured it out. So then with a voice too loud to ignore. Surprise! Lenny shouted as he opened the door. You're weird. Now Lenny felt even worse than before. The worst Ever day in the world, the sad birthday boy said. Mom, I don't want any dinner. I'm going to bed. I came up to see if you're doing okay. You seem really sad, and I'm wondering why. Lenny looked at his mom and tried not to cry. <laughs> but the tears he was holding back suddenly burst. <laughs> of all of my days, Mom, this one's the worst. My family, my teacher, my friends all agree. There's nothing at all that's special about me. <laughs> oh, Lenny. <laughs> Sometimes life can be tough and some days are just rough. Things just stink and you think that you're not good enough. And people upset you or sometimes forget you. Your heart shrinks and you think it's a day you can't get through. But this is the day the Lord has made. You're special to me, you'll be okay. Tomorrow will dawn and I'll love you still. Things will get better, I promise they will. When your day's been a mess and you feel it intensely Don't forget whose you are and who loves you immensely God made you his child and you're treasured as such You're precious, you're cherished, he loves you so much And this is the day the Lord has made You're special to him, I'll be okay Tomorrow we'll dine and he'll love you still Things will get better, I promise they will. Things will get better, I promise they will. Thanks, Mom. My heart isn't filled with quite as much sorrow, even though it won't be my birthday tomorrow. With shock, Mom realized and stood up to say, Lenny, you thought your birthday's today? Well, yeah. Oh, but honey, it's not. Mom said with a tear, I should have told you it's different this year. Every four years, an extra day's added. A leap year, it's called, and the calendar's padded. You were so young the last time it came. March 1st is tomorrow, his mother exclaimed. Oh replied Lenny rather unboldly. It would have been nice if somebody told me. I'm so sorry, Lenny. I feel really bad. That's okay, Mom. You don't have to be sad. This is the day that the Lord has made. You're special to Him. You'll be okay. As he went down to dinner, I guess you could say little Lenny LeBeau didn't lose his birthday. He simply misplaced it. Yeah. But now he feels great and will feel extra special on the day he turns eight. <laughs> <laughs>